Hello, sixth graders, um, or whoever is going to be watching this video today. We are looking at lesson 23, four loops with artists. It's fun. It's a pretty fun lesson, actually. Uh, so let's get to it. Get through it. First part is a video. So when you use a repeat block to loop your code, how does the computer know when it's repeated enough times? The repeat block is actually hiding a more sophisticated piece of code called a for loop, which counts from a starting value up to an ending value by a specific increment. So for example, a repeat three block counts from one to three by one, and every time it counts, it runs the code inside the loop. The for loop knows how many times it has run by using a counter variable that is set to the starting value at the beginning of the loop and has the increment added to it each time the loop is run. As soon as the counter variable is greater than the ending value, the loop stops running. So the benefit of using a real for loop instead of the repeat block is that you can actually see the counter variable and use it in your loop. OK. Um, we're going to continue the number two. And number two is sort of like a freebie. It's um, asking you to play with uh, your, your loops box. So I'm going to put that in there um, and the counter variable. So we are going to move forward and the, and the counter variable is right here. We're going to put that there and let's just make it, um, let's turn right by 90 and move forward by counter. Okay. Okay. Pretty simple. Then I'm going to hit finish. This is an easy one. Just hit finish. You can uh, send this to somebody on their phone if you would like. I'm going to hit continue. Number three. Okay. So we, um, this is already done. We di I did this in class with your classmates today. So we are going to go into loops and we're going to pull out the counter. And if you look, um, it tells us what the user repeat loop inside of a for loop. So we're going to go inside and we're going to get a repeat. And we know that we're drawing a triangle. So I'm going to change that number four to a three. Uh, and then we are going to move forward by counter, by counter, and turn left by 120 degrees. I, I hope that you remember that from previous puzzles. Uh, let me see if it works. Okay. Nope, not quite. So I'm going to hit reset. So what we have to do, we have to set the, can the counter from 50 to 100 and we're going to count by 10 and that should do it okay so that's that take a good look at it Remember, you can always pause this video, go do your work, come back to the video, and restart the video. All right, moving on to number four. Okay, so that, and, and these instructions on this lesson are so precise that you probably don't even need a video. It says, create these triangles that go from 20 to 200. So we're going to change this number to 20, this number to 200, 200 to 20, I mean 20 to 200, and then count by 20. And everything else is gonna stay the same. If you need help, these, hit, these hints will help you. simple it, it it's pretty straightforward they're not trying to trick you or anything so these squares are 15 pixels long the largest square is 300 
and each square is 15 pixels larger than the last. So we're going to change it from 15, the counter, 15. We're going to make that 300 count by 15. And since we're making squares, we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to make it a 4, and we're going to move forward by counter, 15, the first one. Turn left by 90 degrees, repeat four times. I did want to show you that over here, if you're going too slow, you have a, you know, they have a turtle and the rabbit. You can go real slow, which is agonizingly slow. You can even click in the middle and it'll go faster. Okay. Five down, seven to go. All right, so this one, um, this one, it, I, I, I used the hint. When I did it, I used the hint. So it says just one little change to the code from the last time can, can create this drawing. Can you figure out what change? And the hint was you don't need the repeat loop in there. So I'm going to throw that away, leave the move forward by, uh, by counter, and turn left by 90 degrees. And each time it's going to count 15 pixels bigger. Okay? When you get down to it and you start thinking, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 15, then it goes 30, and then it goes 45, and then it goes 60, 75, 90, so on and so forth, until you get to 300. All right, number seven. Um, okay, so this one, it, you're, you're, there's a couple things we have to change, and I have to go. If you turn a little more or less, you would normally... Uh, for, for a shape, it creates a neat effect. Recreate your code from the last level, but turn 89 degrees on this twisted squared spiral. So I'm going to throw that away because we don't need that yet. So all we did was recreate what we did with number six. Recreate that. And then instead of 90 degrees, we're changing that to 89 degrees. something wrong I didn't recreate it let me look at this again 15 15 to 30 okay and turn left 15 and we're counting by 15 and we're turning left all right I think it's because I have this set width in here Continue. Okay, so this one is uh, make three uh, small changes. The pencil is thinner, so this is where we need to add a set width to one. And we are going to count by two here. And instead of turning left, we're going to turn right. Okay, so now it's the same thing we had. Now it says take the angle to 72. So I'm just going to click on that. 72. Okay. Pretty simple. Number 10. Um, it says use the counter inside the set alpha block to get something like this faded center the hexagon was was made using 60 degrees so i'm going to change that to 60 to start with and let me see what i got 
Okay, it's not quite right. Um, where is the alpha? Let me see. Brushes. Set alpha. Okay, so we're going to put, um, put that there, and we're going to take it down to 10. Let me see if that works. Okay. Another one, another simple one. Just hit finish. And on the last one, they just won. Oh, 11. What will happen? Uh, we use the counter from our for loop to change the width of the brush on this drawing. What will happen when you click run? Um, it's going to get smaller, I think, because of the division sign there. As long as we're drawing, it's, it's longer and thinner. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be B. Well, that was the wrong answer. It should have been. Which will straight line that increases the thickness from one side to the other and play. Okay. Hit finish. So I had that one wrong. I, th I think I just don't have the patience sometimes for that. So I'm going to get the loop. I'm going to go one, two, two, 500. Count by, I'm going to do 1.5. And... Move forward by one. Yeah, we don't know that before. Let's go by counter. I'm sorry. By counter. And turn left. Turn left. Somebody give me a number. 22. Oh, 22 someone called out from the back. Let's see. Okay, let's, let's change it. Let's go 1 to 100. Reset. About 15 degrees. Reset. Oh, how about 66? All right, so just play with that, hit, hit finish, and then, ladies and gentlemen, you were done. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. I hope to see you all next up on Wednesday.